Hey everybody, this is Travis here with ProNav Marine and today we're going to discuss a few different ways to install your ProNav Angler power cable. One of the questions we get a lot is how the ProNav Angler power cable can be connected uh, between the ProNav unit itself and your trolling motor batteries. So when you open the ProNav Angler, you're going to find that the power cable that comes with it is roughly six feet in length. So we've designed this cable so that it can easily reach the trolling motor box that's typically located in the front of most V-Hull fishing boats. So the ProNav Angler control box basically is going to stay somewhere up in the front of your boat, pretty close to the trolling motor. We've got a connector on here that attaches to the GPS unit, which is going to be mounted up on top of your trolling motor. We've got another connector here, which is going to connect into your trolling motor's control board connector. And we have a third connector here that's going to attach to your trolling motor's foot pedal or co-pilot. So from this control box, we've got roughly a six to eight foot power run that ends with your red and black leads. If you don't have the length here to run this directly to your trolling motor batteries, or if you don't want to hardwire it onto your motor batteries, another option that a lot of our customers do is basically splice this cable directly with your trolling motor's plug. So most boats come pre-rigged with either a trolling motor or the receptacle that's going to allow you to plug that trolling motor right in um, just with a nice plug and play slot there. Um, there's a lot of different types of plugs that are used commonly. This one's got a, a three prong connection here and it matches on the front of the boat. Another common type of plug is actually uh, a Marinko plug which looks something like this and you'll see uh, Makota has got their own version of this plug. Basically it's got pockets here where you can run your trolling motor wires directly into this plug and it kind of comes apart similar to that. Now you can see here we've basically got these different spades and when you get one of these plugs you open up the packaging they have very specific instructions on how to wire these plugs for either a 12 or 24 volt trolling motor. So you're going to follow those instructions to wire the trolling motor power cord directly into this type of plug if you go with this. And then what you'll see is the opposite side of this plug looks something like this and basically this piece is going to flush mount in the front of your boat you know on a flat surface where you have quick and easy access to connect that trolling motor. So what we can do is actually splice this power cable directly into this connector at the time when we install our trolling motors uh, wiring here. So basically I'm going to refer you to the instructions that come with this plug on how to adapt it for either a 12 or 24 volt system. But what I'm going to show you today is just really easily how to splice these cables in to a very simple plug like the one we've got on here currently. And uh, what it's going to do is make that connection for the ProNav power as well as your motor basically one and the same. And it's going to be a lot easier for you to, to connect and disconnect the ProNav angler at the same time as your trolling motor. So what I'll do now is just show you the basic tools you're going to need to do this uh, splicing here. So this is a real simple job. Anybody out there with a couple of you know, basic tools can do this in their garage, at home. What I've got here, basically just a screwdriver. We may need this uh, for removing and disassembling the cover on the trolling motor at some point. I've got a pair of wire strippers. These are adjustable. I, I prefer using this style because you can put just about any size wire in here, lay it in here, and you know it's going to strip that nice and clean for you. Um, there's other types of strips out there that are a little more difficult to use, but you can pick these up at any automotive tool store. I've got some zip ties, a pair of scissors. I've got a, a heat gun here. This is basically like a hair dryer. What it's going to do is it's going to apply heat. So when we do some heat shrink on the connection itself, we can actually uh, get a nice finish on that. I've got a, an assortment of heat shrink here. If you don't have that big pack, you can pick up some different size heat shrink from any of your part stores. What I've done is sized my heat shrink here to the thickest piece of wire, which is going to be this uh, six gauge wire that comes on the Minkota trolling motor itself. 
And what I've got here is basically a butt connector splice, which is going to make life easy. What I'm going to do is cut the trolling motor plug off and I'm going to re-splice it together using a, a crimp style connector. And what this connector is going to allow me to do is basically reattach the plug and also splice in our Pronab power wire at the same time. And just to show you guys here, I've got a set of wire cutters that are also crimpers. Um, this tool is going to allow me to cut the heavy gauge wire with relative ease. And then I'm going to use this larger size crimp uh, there to basically crunch the butt splice. All right, let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ProNav power cable and because we've decided not to wire this directly to the trolling motor battery, I'm just going to remove the terminals that come on the end of it here. The second thing I'm going to do is basically cut off the connector that I currently have on my Minn Kota trolling motor. So I'm going to cut off this plug and I'm just going to come here and cut on both sides of the current butt splice. And I'll remove the existing heat shrinks. So we've got our plug removed. When you get this trolling motor right out of the box, typically these are just going to come with some small ring terminals on them. And you're actually going to have to decide on putting a plug on the end of this or wiring it uh, directly into your battery system some other way. The most common way to install these trolling motors is through a marine grade plug. Um, this is one example. Basically, these leads terminate here into a, a couple of prongs that have a mating piece that flush mounts into the front of your boat. Um, and what I'm going to do is basically reattach this plug back onto our trolling motor wires and at the same time I'm actually going to splice in the ProNav power cables with my trolling motor power cables. Okay, the next step is basically going to be stripping the sheath off of these wires. Um, what I'm going to do real quick is just trim these wires down so that they're the same length. You can pull them apart a little bit here. And I'm just going to use the stripper tool. I'm going to kind of push this all the way in here like this. And I'm going to work it from both sides until I get my end removed like that. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the ProNav connectors. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the ProNav power cable. As you can see these are much smaller gauge wires and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually strip a little bit more of the sheath off so that I can wrap it around so that I can wrap it around the trolling motor wires. So I'm just going to run this through and remove roughly an inch of that sheath. Okay, like so. The next step here is I'm actually going to match up my black and black and my red and red. So now what I'm going to do is actually spread these out a little bit here. I'm going to bring the ProNav cable end in and I'm just going to really ensure that I've got this twisted in here well with my trolling motor wire. And if I have a little bit of extra here, I'm going to wrap it back down and around. And I've kind of matched up the links here so that both of those sheaths end at the same location. And you want to give yourself roughly a quarter inch here of exposed wire when it's finally twisted together. And what that does is it ensures that when I install this into the butt splice connector, I can basically twist this on and over. And now those wires end roughly halfway into the connector that I've selected here. 
So, just to review, we've got our ProNav power cable matched up to the trolling motor power cable. And we're going to basically do the same thing on both sides here. So we'll come in, open up this a little bit. Next step here is I'm actually going to crimp these connectors. So I'm going to use the largest crimping uh, setting here within this crimper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down roughly halfway down that connector and I'm applying pressure this way towards my thumb. I'm applying the pressure of the tool towards my thumb to hold that connector firmly on. I want to make sure those wires don't slide out while I'm crimping. So I'm pushing this way. And I'm going to basically make that crimp. All right. And I'm going to squish that connector as much as I can. And then I'm going to check. I'm going to make sure it's staying on there as I have intended it to. You can also see directly down the barrel of the connector, you can see we got a good crimp. You can see that V-shaped notch that's securing the wires in place. I've got both wires in there, everything looks good. I'm going to do the next one here. So the next step here is I'm basically going to shorten my wires so that they're both matching on the plug. And now I'm going to strip these wires down just like I did on the trolling motor wires. And you can see we've got about a three-eighths to maybe even a half inch of wire exposed here. And I'm just going to kind of twist these together like so. Now this is a really important step here next. It's one that a lot of people forget to do and you're going to have to redo a lot of this work if you miss this step. You're actually going to take your heat shrink tubing and you're going to slide it down over these wires. like so. Now I've got about three or four inches here of heat shrink and when I make my final connection I'm going to back this up over that connection and I want to have a couple inches of tubing on each side of my connection to really make sure that I've got a good sealed butt splice connection. So now we're going to kind of match these up again. I'm actually going to push this in here again just like we did with the other side. And I'm just going to hold a little bit of pressure in here to make sure that that wire is fully butted up against the other wire when I make this crimp. All right, now I'm just going to check it, pulling lightly. I'm not going to pull hard on this, but pulling lightly to make sure there's no movement. All right, and finally, we're just going to take this last connection here and get everything put in the splice and crimp down. So again, I'm holding a little pressure here on both sides of this. I want to make sure everything is I want to make sure everything is in that connector when we crimp it down. And final check, I'm just going to kind of pull lightly on each side and make sure those wires aren't wiggling or loose in that connector. And now I can slide my heat shrink over. I can kind of feel that connector in there. It's about halfway. Do the same thing here on my reds. All right, and now I'm going to get the heat gun fired up. One thing you can see here, this is an adhesive lined heat shrink. 
which is a marine grade heat shrink so that basically when this gets warm it's going to release a glue here and I can see that glue coming out on both ends all the way around my cables that's exactly what we want so let's review we've got our trolling motor plug here this fits in the receptacle that's up in the front of our boat we've got that spliced in to the trolling motor power wires these are the big heavy gauge wires coming out of your motor and we've got the ProNav Angler power cord spliced in line that's this end here this is going to connect up to the control box for the ProNav and when I plug in my trolling motor ProNav gets power at the same time that was the goal here with splicing these connectors right in line like that ProNav's got a small fuse located in here in the power cable it's a two amp fuse very small that's because ProNav does not draw a lot of power off of your trolling motor batteries in fact it draws somewhere between 50 and 200 milliamps uh, most of the time so that's a very small amount of current basically what I'm going to do now is just kind of zip tie these together make a nice clean path up to the trolling motor and this end here will kind of connect up where our control box is located